Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at my Mercury Vapor Bulb Collection. So let's get started with part one. This one came with my Duracraft area light and is 175 watts. This one came with one of my Cooper Lighting area lights and is 175 watts. Here we have a GE. It is 400 watts. There's its arc tube. It is in perfect shape. Although the only problem is that this bulb won't turn on. I don't know what's wrong with it. I have three of these and the other two do work. Here we have a Phillips and Westinghouse 400 watt bulb. There's its arc tube. It is fairly blackened. I have two of these. Here we have a Phillips 400 watt. There's its arc tube. It is fairly blackened. I have three of these. This one is a Westinghouse 175 watt lifeguard clear ender. You can see its arc tube is pretty blackened, but this bulb still works very well. This one is a Westinghouse 175 watt lifeguard. You can see its arc tube is very blackened. I have two of these and they both work very well. Here we have a Westinghouse 175 watt lifeguard and its arc tube is very, very blackened. This bulb will not turn on without a capacitor, so it is at the end of its life, but it still works if you know how to turn it on. This one is a Phillips and Westinghouse 175 watt and you can see its arc tube is in pretty good condition and it works quite well. This one is a Phillips and Westinghouse 100 watt. You can see its arc tube is very very blackened but it still works very well. I like how small this bulb is. I really do. Here is a Phillips 175 watt there's its arc tube which is in pretty good condition. This bulb I got with one of my fixtures that I found on the side of the road and it still works. This one is a Philips 175 watt. There's its arc tube which is very blackened but still works very well. Thanks for watching part one of my Mercury Vapor Bulb collection. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Click in the description below for part two. Thank you.